Hundreds of people packed into a local church tonight to get answers from Pittsburgh's new police chief. They want to know what he's going to do about crime in their communities. And as Ralph Iannotti reports, they got the answers they were looking for. Ralph. Thanks very much, Ken. To put it mildly, it was a wildly enthusiastic reception. The police chief was warmly received tonight at a Baptist church in Homewood. It's a neighborhood that has struggled with crime. In fact, when we were there this evening, the chief got two standing ovations. There is a public safety crisis in our land. It was an overflow crowd at the Baptist Temple Church in Homewood, where they hosted a meeting on building trust and improving police community relations. The audience consisted of mostly adults in a town hall style meeting sponsored by the Pennsylvania Interfaith Impact Network, representing dozens of churches and faith-based organizations around the Pittsburgh region. Public safety improves when police and communities are in proactive relationships. Police Chief McClay made six public commitments. Absolutely, I do. Let's give it up for Chief McClay. And each time, the crowd broke into applause, giving the chief two standing ovations. He promised, among other things, more diversity in the department, better police accountability, more training, and more body-worn cameras for officers. But the chief also told the audience he'd have to have their help to bring law enforcement and the community together and restore trust. I'm here to assure you I'm fully committed to every one of these objectives we've discussed. This is an amazing opportunity. I'm also here to assure you, however, that if I do every one of the things to which I've committed here, and if I do it by myself, we cannot heal the wounds that are plaguing this community. I have to have your help. Now, the chief believes the rest of the country is watching what happens in Pittsburgh. He said that the dialogue that's going on here is lacking in many other places. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.